Hey guys, it's Monica. Thank you so much for joining me. I am so far behind. <laughs> I'm like so far behind. I had, um, I, I had, I shot a video while we were on vacation from Bar Harbor from my cell phone and um, I had explained that I had lost some footage and all that. So anyways, <laughs> I haven't reshot that footage that I lost, which was my plan when I came home. But when I came home, I had another adventure waiting for me. So I'm going to share some new products, a little bit of my adventure, a little bit of my vacation. If you're interested, stay tuned. So Jay and I came home from Bar Harbor on Tuesday and for some reason I thought I had a company event on Wednesday morning and the company event was way up in the mountains, the um, White Mountains of New Hampshire. So when I came home Tuesday I did a little bit of laundry, I packed um, my bag with some business clothes and I plan to leave super early because it's a two and a half hour ride to where I was going. I couldn't sleep, of course, so three o'clock I got up and I said, mm, okay, I'll stay up because I was afraid if I fell asleep, I'd oversleep. So by five o'clock, I left the house with my overnight bag and I decided I was going to go to my office in London, Derry, and do a couple of things there and then be on the road by 530 so I could get up there in time for the breakfast and the meetings that we were going to be doing and um, so I did that I lugged my bag into the resort that we were that we we're going to be staying in. it was just me Jay stayed home but the resort that the event was held at and it was a company event and I walked up to the desk and I said I'm here for the Verani event this morning can you please direct me to the crystal ballroom and she said oh she said there's no event today and I'm like that's impossible there has to be an event today she goes no I'm so sorry there is no event today but let me double check so she went and double checked and in the interim I opened up my email and I'm looking through my my agenda and I look at it and I go oh my gosh that it was to, the, the next day it was for Thursday morning not Wednesday morning and I was like oh no you know I drove two and a half hours. So I made a decision to just drive back to Londonderry, try to find a place to stay for Wednesday night because I didn't want to go home and repeat the two and a half hour ride. So I drove about an hour and a half to two hours to Londonderry, worked, found a place to stay closer to the event, and turned around and did the trip again. But I could not believe it. It was the butt of the joke at the meeting because, uh, you know, I made a joke of it. I, said, well, I was so excited to see you while I came a day early. But I will never do that again. Unbelievable. And so <laughs> that was sort of like my misadventure that I actually misread that whole thing on my email and arrived for this event. And then this was a beautiful event. It was held in a gorgeous resort area. I'm going to superimpose some pictures as I talk. And this was just some pictures I took outside the resort area. This is in the White Mountains of New Hampshire, and it's called Mountain View Grand. And there was really a mountain view all around. It's just beautiful, way up there in the mountains. And we had the most amazing sunset. So I'm going to include a couple of those pictures here. But it was a wonderful event. And then I came home, and I said, oh, my gosh, you know, it's been humid. It's been hot. I'm behind on everything, so I figured today I would try to shoot this video. Then I'm going to work on the others. But what I wanted to share with you, one thing that is like really exciting is that um, there, and this is actually going to be a launch and I, from City Beauty. And for a short period of time, I actually have a discount code for you where you can get 30% off. But it has to be during the launch, which is August 19th to August 24th only. So if you're interested in this product, definitely check it out. This is a lid lifting treatment. So when I was approached by City Beauty, to review this and, and most of you know I do use a lot of City Beauty products. I love their eye cream. I love their neck firming oil that I've used consistently. I just think it makes a big difference on my neck and a number of others. They have lipsticks, they have all sorts of different products but anyway so I use a lot of City Beauty products 
but when they reached out to me about a lid lifting treatment, I was intrigued because I have very crepey eyelids and I have droopy eyelids. And over the course of time, if you look at some of my earlier pictures or videos, my eyes are definitely way, way more droopy than they are today. And I'm often asked if I've had any kind of surgical procedure, which I haven't, but people always want to believe that anyways. Um, so I've used, you know, Retin-A closer to my brow bone and, and I've used other treatments and all that. So, so when I got approached about this particular product, I was, I was all over it. I'm going to link all the information below, but it really, really sounds intriguing. And I thought, I'm going to put my glasses on and read some of this for you. Um, I thought this sounded really good. You know, it has a number of really good ingredients, which I can never pronounce, but it, um, the way you are supposed to put it on, and it says that it will, the results have been pretty good, that you tap it on. It's a tiny, tiny product. It's not inexpensive, but with the 30% off coupon, I think it is well worth trying if you have crepey eyelids. Now, I started to use this while I was camping because I got it before we went away. And it's white, it's thick, and you just put a little bead on your ring finger and you tap it on. That's what I did. Tap it on, and then you do it again on the other eye. And I, I don't know if you're supposed to do it this way, but this is the way I did. I just let it set. I didn't do anything else. It says you can use this as an eyelid primer absolutely did not and this is crucial for me because so many I don't use eyelid primers because so many eyelid primers interfere with the application of my eyeshadow it'll make my eyeshadow harder to blend it'll make it just more difficult this did not interfere with my eyeshadow whatsoever so I put it on and I just let it sit there very very nicely let it dry tapped it in and I one thing that I noticed, and this is going to be hard for anyone to visual, visualize, but one thing that I noticed is when I was applying my eyeshadow, because I tapped it on, I didn't rub it in, but when I was applying my eyeshadow, I felt my lids did not move around as much. I definitely felt a little bit of a firming of my lids when I was applying my eyeshadow. Now I would let it sit. I'd put it on, tap it on after I've cleaned my skin and I just would let it sit before I applied anything else. So maybe five minutes, maybe 10 minutes, depending on what I was doing. But I noticed that the normal application of my eyeshadow where the crepiness, and my, my lids are still crepey, don't get me wrong, this hasn't cured them. But I noticed that the normal application of the eyeshadow and the crepiness of my, my eyelids moving all around was diminished, greatly diminished on the application. Now, if you can use it twice a day. I've so far only used it once a day when I apply. I haven't used it at night, but I, I, I'm going to continue to use this. I'm super impressed so far with uh, the difference that I'm seeing in my lid just like I am super impressed with the neck oil and when I first started using the ultra firming dry oil for my neck I liked I liked how my neck felt but I didn't visually see a difference now I believe I'm starting to see a difference in how my neck skin feels reacts and looks I think more supple so I'm going to treat this, this eye, this lid lifting treatment plan, I'm going to do it the same way as my neck oil because, you know, right out of the chute, I'm seeing a difference without a doubt. And I am liking the difference that I'm seeing. I think this is pretty cool, but I'm going to keep it up. But I wanted you guys to have a chance. If any of you want to order it, I'm going to link the information below. The ingredients are awesome. And like I said, a big test for me. I can apply my eyeshadow without an issue using this and that's pretty well unusual and that was also the thing that I was super afraid of. So it is white, you just put a little bit of a bead on the tip of your ring finger and you just tap it in. It dissipates, it looks clear, you don't see anything sitting on your eye, but I can feel a firmness in my upper, you know, in, in my, my droopy lids, in my crepey eyelids. It also says it'll give you a smoothing effect, and I think that is definitely happening. Is it long-term? Is it going to continue? Is it temporary? I 
right now I'm going to say I believe it's temporary. I haven't used it long enough to be able to say long term that there would be any difference. But the reviews are really great. People that have been using it, what they have seen, the results they've seen have been really, really great. So I'm super impressed. Take advantage of the launch. City Beauty Lid Lifting Treatment. 30% off. Lift 30, I think, is the coupon. I'll leave it all below, and I'll leave all the, all the information so you can check it out. While I was away, I used a new, and I'll superimpose some photos, but I used a, a new sort of daily moisturizer. Now, I was camping. I was outside a lot. I didn't, I didn't vlog the trip as far as having a lot of videos or anything of that nature, but it was super active vacation super active i was outside in the wind in the sun and i wore a lot of sun hats and i wore a lot of sunblock we were right on the edge of the ocean check out some of the views i'm going to superimpose this video so you can see the views are beautiful the location is beautiful and we spent every day outside we're in a camper so we're not going to be inside and one of the things that i really really liked is from md solar science and this is their their um, daily perfecting moisturizer and it's an SPF of 30 and I will tell you that this really made my skin feel good it was moisturizing it had broad spectrum protection it's full of antioxidants it has ingredients that are really awesome it was developed by a dermatologist derm developed they say and highly recommended so what I did is after I did my skincare in the morning and I would do my normal skincare and my skin would dry I would load my face up with this it is a moisturizer and then I waited and I waited maybe half hour or so before I put my first if I did any kind of um, makeup foundation now while I was away I had the one foundation that I used all the time, which is the, I used my Estee Lauder. I brought that because I was trying to work my way through it. I would put that on. It played super, super, super nice because this is a moisturizer. I have dry skin. So for me, this was awesome. This was sent to me complimentary uh, from the Octoly Network, from MD Solar Sciences. I also, I had talked about their eye cream that I received that I really like. They've got a ton of products. That, who knew? I never really heard of them until I requested their eye cream because I'm always, always looking for eye creams. I'm always trying to experiment with eye creams. And I saw that on Octoly and I said, let me grab it. I've already reviewed it in a previous video. I love it. I brought that with me as well. And then when I saw this as an offering, I said, I'm going to give it a shot. And they sent it to me. This is awesome. So it's only a 30 SPF, but it, it comes out white, right? But it also dissipates into your skin and it just feels so moisturized. It feels so good. No beading, um, no peel, no uh, the peeling up of your foundation underneath it. I really like it. Key, key ingredients is chamomile, seaweed extract, niacinamide, and even caffeine, which it says helps the appearance of brightness and promotes a more even type of complexion or look. So antioxidant, vitamin C, rose hip, grape, rosemary, green tree, green tea extracts. It does not clog the pores. It's natural lavender essence, reef safe, animal test free, vegan. So a whole bunch of benefits to this. I really like it. Again, sent to me complimentary via the Octoly Network, via and from SD Solar Sciences. This is a brand to keep your eyes on, guys, because the products are super, super good. So I really like that. Now, while I was away, I had a number of you reach out and say, because I was posting some pictures on Instagram. I was posting some of my pictures on my Facebook, and a lot of you kind of follow me on Instagram, and we're connected on Facebook. Well, I, I am probably a, a, sunblock, a sunblock fanatic, so I'm always using sunblock, and I'm always using, when I'm outside, sun hats and visors so I use a lot I have a lot of visors that I wear I have full sun hats that I wear especially if I'm going to be say beaching it for the day but if I'm going to out and about and we're going to explore Acadia or we're doing this or that I tend to go for more of visor I have a number of visors and 
a, a number of you have asked about these visors. You've seen me wear this one. You've seen me wear this one. This is probably my favorite color of all. It is just a super, super cute. This is called wall a -roo. These are washable. These are comfortable. They're adjustable. <laughs> they just give super, super protection. Now, on the website, this particular company, wall a -roo, says that their hat is basically, I don't know if they use the phrase sun safe, um, but it has sun protection or shade protection. I, I love these. These, You know, when you wear a visor and you get the metal in it, sometimes they're just really uncomfortable. These are so comfortable you forget they're on. I'm going to link the, the uh, information below, but I'll tell you, the first two I bought were, there was in a store called Remy's in Maine. I don't know if you have Remy's anywhere, but that's where I got them, and they were $24. I got this one, and I got this one, because I love this color. And I wanted a black one, right? And um, so I looked on Amazon, I looked on the company's website, and I bought the black one on Amazon. So in Remy's, they were $24 a piece. They offer some sun protection. I can't tell you for sure if this is SPF of anything, but they do offer some sun or shade protection. So I ordered the black one. And $31 on Amazon, $24 at Remy's, same company. I, I think you can also look it up and find out, you know, if, on their website, I think they're the same price as uh, Amazon. Then I also wear these. These I will definitely link. These are in my Amazon store. Straw. Um, wider brim so you have more protection this is a more narrower brim so if you're like shopping this is really comfortable for shopping or anything like that where these wider brim hats sometimes block your vision and while they're awesome to be outside lying at you know or at the beach they're sometimes harder if you're going to be you know uh, in a store or something like that but I got these on Amazon and I think I think the straw, this is 50 SPF protection. So this is definitely a sun protection hat. And I think this was like $17.99 or something like that. And I also got this one, which is a 50 SPF as well. And this one is, um, was $20. But I like, these are comfortable, but again, they're the wider brim. So if I'm taking a walk at the beach, and all of that, I'll wear a full hat with a full brim, or I'll make sure I have a lot of sunblock on my neck. But if I'm sitting around at the beach, whatever, one of these visors do perfect for me. I also have one, this one I've worn an awful lot. This is also a 50 SPF. So you guys have seen me wear that one. But I wear a lot of visors. And all of these visors I've purchased. I have a number of hats that I've purchased. These companies don't know I exist. I have these which I think some of you saw last year that I bought. I bought these in a gift store in Maine, and these are 50 SPF as well. I've not been able to find these on Amazon, but this is Sun, sun and Sand hat, headwear. Sun and Sand, not and, but Sun and Sand. I love these visors, 50 SPF. I've worn these a number of times. These are probably my favorite, favorite one. So these are sort of like a little, you know, a little hat show. <laughs> a little hat show. Um, but yeah, so I am a firm believer in, in covering up. And I'm going to, while I'm talking to you, I'm going to superimpose some of my vacation shots. My kids came up, my, one of my sons came up and my granddaughter came up and they stayed with us in the motorhome and that was so, so super special. We had a blast together and then we also hung around with our friends and we discovered this one area in Acadia or a sort of in Hancock outside of Acadia. A, uh, an area where there's a fall and uh, or a natural falls or whatever and we found a picnic area there it was just really nice and depending on the tide you can go there and you can spend a day they had beautiful you know beautiful views it was just it was just amazing we absolutely love the coast of Maine so vacation was awesome totally protected with the visors that I've bought and if you if you like this type of a visor, Wallaroo. I love this. I think this is really 
a great option. Again, I'm not going to tell you this is going to give you any SPF. It says it is sun, there is sun protection, but it is not listing it. So I suspect it's the sun protection is the shading that you might get and not necessarily any kind of an SPF, but I don't care. I think these look cute. These are super stylish in my opinion and super comfortable. And again, $24 at Remy's, $31 on Amazon. For me, they were well worth it because I do wear a lot of visors and hats and all that to add to my glowing, growing collection. As Jay says, you know, he thinks um, I just have way, way too many, way too many, and he's probably correct. So it's been super hot here, uh, but I wanted to share some of the hats because you asked me about them. Where am I getting them? What kind? So I'm going to link the information for my hats, my visors, I should say, below. And of course, the lid lifting that I'm doing, which I really like. <laughs> I'm really super impressed with the lid lifting treatment. Again, that's not going to be available with that discount except for a few days. So I wanted to get this up for you guys so you could go ahead and and if you're interested in trying, you'd give it a try. I think it's 30% off. I think it's like 60 some odd dollars regularly. Um, from what I'm seeing so far, I like it. Now again, everyone's skin is different. I get that, but for me this has been uh, this has been really good. And the same thing with the MD Solar uh, Silence is this moisturizer plays wonderful on my skin, as did the eye cream. So they went with me while I was camping. We had a fantastic time. I was super careful with my eye, you know, because I have the, um, the ongoing dry eye issue. I brought my heated eye pad with me, so I put that on at night and plug it in. And I, it's on a timer. That was absolutely a lifesaver. I brought my eye drops with me. I did super well. The only one time that I had a difficult day was when we were in a car ride and I was in the back seat and everyone had the windows down. The wind just blew on my eye and really bothered me. And one night I was too close to the fire, but I just moved myself back from the fire pit and was able to... Uh, to handle it just fine. So I know this is super long. What my plan is after this video is to record or try to record my skincare update, which is the footage I lost. I don't know if I'm going to record the magical marriage one. I might. I might re-record that one. I was just in the right frame of mind when I talked about how to, you know, how to keep your magic, your marriage magical. <laughs> It's probably silly, but maybe there was a reason why I lost that footage. You get it? I mean, at least that's what I'm saying. There's, there's a message there. But anyway, so just wanted to say, hey, I'm back. I'm going to be trying to do, get back to my twice a week videos. We'll see how I do. And I appreciate all of you. Every single one of you have been fantastic. Thank you for all your messages. Thank you for all your questions. And thank you for your support. And if you're brand new here, welcome. And please be sure to subscribe. Bye, guys. See you in my next video.